ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ दी सब म्यूकस फाइब्रोसिस ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ दी सब म्यूकस फाइब्रोसिस स्टार्ट विद दी रिमूवल ऑफ दी इरीटेटिंग आर दी प्री डिस्पोजिंग एटोलॉजिकल फैक्टर्स नंबर वन अवॉइड द इरीटेटिंग फैक्टर्स दैट आल इन मोस्टली इंक्लूड दी अरिका नट्स टोबैको अल्कोहल एंड अदर एटोलॉजिकल काजिंग सब म्यूकस फाइब्रोसिस दैन वी यूज टू रिलीव the symptoms of the submucous fibrosis steroids drugs topically steroids are uh, in topical injection of the steroids into the affected area is more effective and we avoid uh, to use the systemic steroids and due to uh, side effects it may be um, in coordination with hyalase is used um, and dexamethasone 4 mg is injected into the affected area by weekly for 8 to 10 weeks and this brings some marked improvement in the symptoms and relieves the uh, trismus uh, that is caused by the submucous fibrosis and on the other hand we improve the nutritional status um, as the deficiency of vitamins and micronutrients improvement in the balanced diet and the intake of fruits and vegetables then we do a jaw opening exercise and this also relieves the symptoms of the submucous fibrosis the treatment of choice in the submucous fibrosis are the surgical procedures these are indicated in the advanced stages in case to relieve the trismus various surgical techniques are used number 1 removal of the fibrosis and skin grafting there is a high recurrence rate due to the graft contracture Um, but we use uh, the skin graft uh, when we remove the fibrosis in the oral cavity second one is the bilateral tongue flaps uh, it requires flap division at a second stage bilateral tongue flaps bilateral tongue flaps uh, uh, requires the flap division at a second stage And then number third position uh, th- number third process is the nasolabial flaps uh, these are the small they are small to cover the uh, d- uh, defects completely and they also cause the facial scar required division of the flap at the second stage number 4 is iceland platelet mucoperiosteal flap in this case we require the extraction of the second molar teeth from the flap so that this flap can be sit without tension it is based on the greater palatine artery only possible in the second case and uh, one negative point about this is that it is not suitable for the bilateral flap then number 5 is a bilateral radial foramen free flap and uh, this uh, uh, process require the extraction of the uh, third molar teeth and uh, it may require debulking procedures then number 6 is the surgical excision surgically we remove the fibrosis lesion and uh, it is replaced by the buccal fat pad graft next one is superficial temporal fascia flap and and number 8 is a coronoidectomy and temporal muscle myotomy so these are the treatment options for the oral submucosal fibrosis